Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to paint this watercolor cupcake using only a few brushes from the Sublime Watercolor Pack. I've drawn a sketch so you guys can download it and insert it like this. By the way, I'm utilizing the Delicate and Dainty canvas for this tutorial. And here you can see the sketch layer. And I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm just going to bring down the opacity. And I'm going to start coloring the seeds using a yellowish color. And I'll be using the hard edge round brush for the majority of this tutorial. Once you color in the seeds, we're going to make a new layer, and that's where you are going to color in the strawberry. And I'm picking like a light red and I'll let you guys download my color palette for this tutorial although it won't have all of the colors um, the vast majority will be included Once you color in the whole strawberry, you can color over some of the areas again to emphasize shadows and volume. So basically you color and then blend and then color over the areas that need shadows. Because I've decided that the right side will have shadows, I'm trying to color the right bottom portion multiple times to create this darkening effect. So basically just color over with darker colors and blend it using the basic blender. Now I'm making a new layer and I'm going to actually utilize a stamp. I'll use bloom number two and I'm just going to just use it on the bottom portion to accentuate that the bottom is going to be a lot more dark. Now I'm starting to outline the tiny seeds so that they are a bit more visible. You can use the basic blender afterwards to blur them out a bit. Now we're going to start coloring the icing so let's make a new layer. And I'm going to use a very light pink and use the hard edge round brush again and just start to color. Once you've colored the entire icing portion, I'm now going to show you how to make the icing look 3D. So as you can see, the trick is to use a darker pink to draw over certain areas that may have shadows. And it really doesn't have to be perfect since we're not going to be super scientific about these shadows. Just like real watercolor, you build from light to dark. Just to let you guys know, I'm only utilizing the hard edge brown brush to add in these accents and utilizing the basic blender to blend out any harsh lines. So now I'm just going to start the whole process again using a darker pink. Just for fun, I'm going to try to use a boom number one stamp here. And then you, of course, blend. You can even add in little dots to make it look like it has more texture. Of course, blend it out so that it looks a lot more natural. Now that we're done the icing, let's start coloring the cake. And make sure you have a new layer there. And I'm using a very light beige color to color it in. And I'm using the hard edge brown brush, of course. 
Sorry guys, the screen cut off there, but I'm utilizing bloom number two and I'll just use this stamp to add in more color to the cake. I made a clipping mask layer on top so that we can easily utilize these stamps. It is a bit harder to show you guys this process since I'm not showing my hands and my Apple Pencil, but I hope you guys are okay with this type of um, filming. I'm, I think that it does make the painting look a bit more vibrant this way. So just like how we've added shadows to our icing, I'm going to paint over some of these areas again to indicate darkness. I'm just painting right below the icing and I'm going to blend that out using the basic blender. Now let's just go back to the clipping mask layer and add in more stamps. I'm using darker colors now. Now we're going to color the paper cup and this is on a new layer. As you can see, I'm using a very light gray and leaving the middle portion out so that we can fill it in later with a different color. After the paper cup is finished, you can start to color in this middle portion using a light brown or a beige. Once that's all filled in, you can make a new layer on top of that and make it a clipping mask. And I'm going to select one of these stamps and just tap here and there to make it look like the cupcake is cooked. <laughs> And I'm also going to use a gray-ish color to just go over the pencil lines. Accentuating these folds make it look more realistic. And you can of course blend it out a bit to make it look more seamless and natural. And then I'm going to just outline the top of the paper cup. And then just blend it out a bit like that. And the next step is totally optional. You can use a hot pink color and this stamp to add in some marks on the paper cup so that the cupcake looks like it has bits of berries in it. Now I'm just going to add a shadow using the hard edge round brush. So you just draw a bit of a shadow underneath. And you can blend that out with the basic blender. Once that's done, I'm just going to make a new layer on top of that and make it a clipping mask. And use a brownish color and I'm selecting bloom number one and just stamping it right underneath the cupcake. And I'm just going to blend that out. Also, I'm drawing in some lines underneath and then I'm just going to blend that out as well to make um, additional shadows. These shadows can really elevate your painting and make it look more realistic. So that's it guys. I'm super happy with this painting. Honestly, I haven't been really satisfied with my work lately, but this one is pretty good. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.